actually you know goes hand in hand with what we're discussing right now on this particular topic yeah. that your wife would be such a you know a crazy um, situation like cancer cancer is not an easy disease to deal with yeah. you know the chemo the back and forth the mm. weight loss the excuse me to say there's the vomiting yeah. and, and stuff like loss that. of hair loss of hair break actually a whole lot of yeah. things that you go through one minute you're fine the next minute you are not even when yeah. it's hot you have to cover your head because you're cold yeah it's not an easy thing to go through but then again you're you're fine by god's grace you beat the situation then you come and tell the man that stood by your side was there for you but we can't tell. A lot of things happen when people are sick. And yeah. a lot of people's attitudes and behavior pop up. Then you say, I want to live my best life. Okay. Meaning, make I allow you come out, go parties, then sleep with people. Whether it's men or women, now and then we don't even know safe. Yeah. But you want to be given that opportunity to do that and you still want to stay married. Who does that? Hmm. Keep your messages coming through 0548841039. We're live on Facebook. I'm here with Kumi Coons. Kumi, what do you think? Yeah. Okay. So, um, first of all, let me say good afternoon to everybody. It's a brand new week, and I wish everybody well that by God's grace, this week will be very fruitful and blissful. And yeah. So good afternoon to everybody. When I when I saw the the topic, I was like, "Wow, um, this is deep." There are so many school of thoughts when mm -hmm. it comes to this. You mm -hmm. know, things were running through my mind, and one of them, somebody might think or might say that what she wants to do now are things that she wanted to do in actual life, mm -hmm. but considered certain things like marriage, mm -hmm. so decided not to do it. Mm -hmm. So marriage or the partner's faithfulness or the love for the partner or the fear that society might criticize her you know kept her from doing what she's telling us now mm -hmm. now knowing that life is too short she wants to be herself she wants to amplify the inner hair and the inner hair is sleeping around having fun so now she doesn't care. Her dream girl. Yeah, she doesn't care. Mm -hmm. She doesn't, she's not bothered about what people will say. She um, doesn't want to restrict herself mm -hmm. to one person because mm -hmm. she now she doesn't believe in that. She wants to have a cocktail of different, you know, lengths and breadths of life when mm -hmm. it comes to men. Yeah. Because she feels that that will make her happy. Yeah. Somebody might also think that, okay, after going through that, I was expecting that she would be more dedicated to her religion and her beliefs mm -hmm. and cling to God mm -hmm. because it took divine redemption for her to be saved. Yeah. Like he adequately said, miracle. So it depends on, you know, it's the person's inner self that is speaking. The inner self, the subconscious mind that is speaking now, that is manifesting now. Mm -hmm. What we call, uh, you know, the inner monologue. The things that is within you, that you think about, you cogitate about when you are alone. is what now she is telling the husband. Okay. Without thinking about how the husband will feel. Mm -hmm. Because now she's realized that, Guji Guji, come with me. I'll go. Mm -hmm. When I go, my husband would live. So he can have fun. But I want to have fun now. So it's a me time, not us time. So let me play the devil's advocate for the next few minutes. Yeah. Eh? Why don't you break up with him and go do you? But putting yeah. him through this mental torture. That's okay. Does she see it that way? And that comes and here comes my next question. Mm -hmm. She still is reeling off what she went through. And mm -hmm. probably she's not in the right state of mind. Okay, that brings me to my next <laughs> <laughs> my next topic that I want to talk about. I was, I was reading about it. Yeah, my There dad. is this research by Dr. Rian mm -hmm. Omond. Mm -hmm. MD, PhD holder. Mm -hmm. He's a surgeon. Mm -hmm. University of Colorado mm -hmm. Cancer Center. Mm -hmm. Now, according to the research... Mm -hmm. Cancer becomes especially dangerous when it metaphorizes or spreads to other parts of the body. Mm -hmm. 
we are talking about breast cancer, including the brain. Yeah, it does. Okay. So, it could be, we don't know for a fact. That she might still not be herself. So, let me speak from a little bit of, maybe a, of an experience. It has affected okay. the brain. Because sure. under normal circumstances, under normal circumstances, yeah. there's no boyfriend, girlfriend. No, this is marriage. Because, you see, when you go through certain things, eh, mm-hmm. certain life situations, mm-hmm. whether you lose family, you lose a loved one, mm-hmm. you go through some sicknesses, yeah. you see people during that time of when you were sick, other people around you were dying, that makes you get scared that, hey, I could be the next person in line because everybody around me in the world is just kaputin. Yeah. What about me? Yeah. And then you're lucky to go through it. Sometimes, eh, hmm. You are okay for a few minutes and you feel that, oh, thank you, God, thank you, God. But then some, some reality just slap you in the face. You realize that, ah, now me, self, I dated once, married once. Mm-hmm. So I don't even know what it feels like to date a Jamaican okay. or probably be with somebody from the... So you want to explore. You, you see, certain silly things come into your head. Mm-hmm. And then you've not... With, with those experiences, you should be talking to a therapist and stuff that can help you shape yourself back to okay. normal because those things are traumatizing. Yeah. You went through a phase where you're mm. cancer. Yeah. Most of the cancer patients that you see, you see somebody w- that you go through, what's it called? Um, uh, you know, when you're going for your chemo, you'll yeah. be seeing somebody consistently, maybe a bunch of people that I think, before you know it, two, three, but they are gone. You know, yeah. they see them anymore. Yeah. So as you're going, you're making friends, but you're losing them. Even the hospital when you're, you're put on, um, what's it called? Um, on your, your own admission you're not yeah. admission only for one month too. you're on admission for months yeah in certain places and then you see you see people come and go people come know, and go come some and go. die and yeah they don't even go back home so you go through this and then you survive and then you still the aftershock yeah. of it can make you do certain things you understand me <laughs> you know he was my senior in school you're back you're, you're still in love Hello. you're still in love Forever in love. I can never. You can never stop loving Why me. Why you come loving Oh, wow. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, you're, you're my baby girl. I'm your baby girl for life. Uh, when I see you. Uh-huh. Yeah, I see what I see. You see what you see. Yeah, see. <laughs> Did you hear what he said? He see what he see. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the only guy that can walk in and for tell me these person. things. For real. You're beautiful. You're one girl I can, you know. Just take my eyes. Okay? Oh, my God. He prefer- live on radio. Damn. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> I see what I see. Okay, my dad. I always know where I'm coming from. Okay. And you might test my Th- Thank you, darling. <laughs> I know, right? He just he just killed it for some people. <laughs> I've been joined by my other two mischievous friends. Hey Ella. Hi Na, I miss you so much. I miss you too, eh, Costero? Nah. What's good? I'm fine. They are smiling from cheek to cheek like you have mm-hmm. money for I see, me. I see any taste. Me and the taste. <laughs> you mean I'm a speck. I know. But Kumi, what we're talking about, I'm speaking from a little bit of an experience because yeah. um, I hate talking about this, but I'm going to say, when you go through a brain tumor mm-hmm. um, experience, it, it changes everything for you. For me, it made me want to keep to myself. And then it made me respect human beings more. Yeah. Even though I love people. Yeah. It changed the way I behave because at some point you don't know when you're going to black out and somebody's going to help you pick you up. Yeah. So you need to be careful how you speak to people, how you treat people. Yeah. But then again, you become you become hostile. Yeah. And you become abrasive sometimes and aggressive. Yeah. So sometimes you want to protect yourself, but you need help at the same time. Yeah. And sometimes you want to hide the fact that you're weakling. And that is the emotional conflict. Thank that you. Comes so so it. my experience, I'm thinking, okay. If I'm too open, people will think that I'm I'm a weakling. Yeah. So the moment somebody teases you a bit, you think that y- your mind goes to the fact that, like you know, your pl- your mind is playing games. So they're laughing at me. They think I'm not worth it. Like, I'm that is why inferiority complex. Thank you. Sets I was in. about to say that your your insecurity levels are high because you just went through a process of, and then when you go through memory loss, like I went through. Yeah. The old things that you used to do that make you happy. Like, you know when, you know me, when I'm in front of a camera, I'm behind a camera, I'm so excited. Like, it comes yeah. to me like nothing. Imagine you don't remember any of those things again. You are on set and you're so confused. You have no idea what's going on. And then everybody around you screaming things at you at the same time. Your confidence goes six feet down. Mm. Then you don't know what you're doing. Then you see the 
insecurity becomes something else and then you become hostile yeah. and, and then people don't understand you because instead of you opening up and telling them, okay i went through this you feel like if you tell them that you become a liability no even you see our society we don't even understand some of these things so for me what worked so, for me was therapy when, when when you when you tell you know i've i've been through that situation before Same, yeah so that's where, why I, for me you know i don't like talking it, about it my to, stuff so it got, it got to a point where i couldn't even wear white shirt because I didn't want anybody to see me. I just wanted to be with myself. I just had some few friends around me who knew me, understood yeah. my situation, mm -hmm. and was protecting me. Yeah. So, yes, I'll go on air, I'll read the news, and just after that, you know, they'll come and pick me up. Yeah. I'm gone. Yeah. They know what to do to make me happy, and they'll force you to eat, yeah. you know, and all these kind of things. And there are a lot of things. When you go through problems like that, there are a lot of things that you might hear from people that you least expected that they will say those things around you, some negative things, oh my and God. that will even dement you the more. Yeah. Like, you know? Like and, telling you that you... Why, why, I guess, wait, why are you becoming big? But it's not true. The medications you becoming, that you're why taking. Why are you becoming big? You, becoming big is even better. What's happening to your face? And I'm thinking, and oh my God. You know, you know what happened to me? People see you and I, hey, what for, Papa? Mm. And, and, and some will see you, it is as if they are pitying you and, and it kills your soul. My, mine you know, was, you know how... You, you, you look you, into the mirror and you, you see that, yeah, the same soul, but the container has changed. Yeah, you see, you see how I was so particular yeah. about my face? <laughs> like, ah, what's wrong with the side of your face? I don't know. And I'm thinking, okay. And I'm, I'm like, this is what I say. I don't know. Then I walk away. Okay. But I know that I'm stressed out. So it's... The, that side is you know is swollen because of that because i'm stressed out and i'm still dealing with it i'm still working on medications that's supposed to help it go down so when you start asking me those things then the insecurity starts popping out then i started taking counseling you know therapy more yeah. seriously because yeah. that will help you you know manage yourself you know yeah. yourself insecurities and your self-esteem and stuff like that i've never talked about on this, this note let me say big ups to muhammad um your therapist he, yeah he's a, he's my psychologist you know health and buzzy yeah owner, yeah that, that restaurant yeah you know he's he's super yeah he worked on me and you know it was good you see the whole thing is you need to understand your situation mm -hmm. and accept your situation own it and believe in times and seasons mm. that has always been my strength mm -hmm. if i'm down today i know i understand i need to be down because god has accepted that i should be down yeah but i will not be down forever that's it times and seasons there will be times that i will be up mm -hmm. if i grow lean today yes the situations demand that i go through the process mm -hmm. but with time i'll get back to myself and if I, if you understand it that way, what people say about you wouldn't get to you because mm -hmm. you know yourself, you know your situation, you understand your situations. People are talking out of ignorance. They don't even know what you're going through. No. Nope. And you can't tell them because telling them will even ginger them the more. And they'll start pitying you the more. To, yeah. And, you know, people see you and they're like, oh, I hope so. And ah. you know, it is as <laughs> You don't want you to know, hear it no, at let all. Let me tell maybe. you this. Let me tell you this. Me, some of us, it took the grace of God and... You know, that brave heart to yeah. continue coming to work. The first day I came to work, let me tell you, the first day I came to work, a colleague of mine saw me, the way I've grown that lean, and was like, ah, did you come to visit us or you are coming to work? I'm telling you. Oh, crap. I'm telling you. You wouldn't believe it. That is why some of us, people see us, we are free. But yeah. me, I have a strong heart. Yeah. Me, I have a lion heart. And for me. And, and people don't understand. Because what breaks you either makes you or mar you mm -hmm. and if you are positive and you understand some of these things mm -hmm. it will make you wiser bigger bolder more intelligent and more vigilant mm -hmm. so me i don't i don't bother myself about what people do or what people say about me i'm me yeah. believe you me i'm me but i am grateful that we can talk about this experience that we brought oh, yeah. but in the situation of the husband now we've set a premise the lady has a problem basically the lady has a she yeah. she has the the I read to you mm -hmm. what the, the some researcher of these said can lead to mm -hmm. you know the adverse effects of some of these things. Mm -hmm. Clearly, the, the 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 lady has a she I don't want to say she has a mental problem, but psychologically things are not right. Mm -hmm. And 
everything that she's doing, she's doing it from a one-sided point of view yeah. without looking at the other side. Because mm-hmm. don't forget that when you were ill, somebody was beside you, mm-hmm. helped you to get to this level. Mm-hmm. So if anything at all, you need to consider them too yeah. in every decision. That is why I don't believe in the fact that people think that, okay, we are tired of life because of health, because of broken heart. So I'm going to take up my life. I'm, I, I'll kill myself. Okay, you kill yourself. What about your loved ones? You take them through a certain level of pain. That is self Yeah. But most of these people, you realize that they suffer mental disorders. Yeah. I'm just trying to be very careful so that I wouldn't sound disrespectful. Yeah, but you and I both know that at some point, at some point, we we can boldly say today that oh, at some point, mentally there was a disorder somewhere. So somebody had to. We had to be bold enough and say, I need help. So help me because fear doubt of yourself insecurity yeah. can make you make a bunch of crazy decisions then depression will set in and stuff like that yeah so we can we can tell so but let me come to simon and ally so for the from the point of view with this premise that has been set with our experiences and um, that point of view of the husband how does he deal with this because in the conversation how we play the voice notes the way he kept repeating himself yeah he's just trying to be tough guy but it's in pain yeah yeah tough guy but it go on if you listen to the voice notes and the way he keeps repeating and speaking pidgin and English and makes it, the thing they drive him crazy. <laughs> oh yeah. The, because, the, 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 the guy to study so far in because uh, like how he, can I be there with you? He can't understand and fathom where that mindset is coming from. Mm-hmm. Atami being with you for probably years or months while you were going through a tough time mm-hmm. and then you come back healthy not knowing whether you would survive or not, mm-hmm. I see to wit, mm-hmm. me as your husband, I see to wit that you survived it with the help of God. And then you come back and tell me, Patty's fine, but then to sleep with other men. No, one can't I mean, but also whether men or women can, I don't even know. Yeah, to sleep with <laughs> other people. <laughs> she wants to, she wants to explore, but then her, mentally, she's not right sorry to say she's not right and she needs to be checked because if you really want to explore i feel she doesn't know exactly what she wants she just wants to just like you said that you people are suffering with memory loss so probably the only thing that is coming to her head now is you know sex Mm -hmm. and 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 she wants to explore that because it keeps coming to her her mind and then her head. So I feel the man should be patient, a little patient with her, talk her out of it, try and then get help. Like you said, you should be bold to tell people that you need help. Mm-hmm. Probably the surgery or whatsoever that she went through, went through affected her mentally. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. And then we are not seeing, even though there are spiritual sides to all of this. And I know there are people that are in open relationships. Oh, but this one, how do you but put your husband one, through this? This one, you weren't like that from the beginning. Mm-hmm. And now you go through a tough time and you come back and you want to. You want to explore. Explore with him. Other people. Other people. Other, other things. Other cultures. No, she's She wants she's to go to Malta. She's suffering mentally. Malta. She's suffering mentally. She's, she's having lots of battles in her head. Yeah. Concerning sex. Probably that was the very first thing her husband welcomed her with. No, no, probably that. <laughs> probably that. No, it's me, for me, this one thing. thinking. Imagine say, oh, I've been a very good girl. I kept to myself. You know, some people are like that. They keep yeah. themselves. They date one person. Then they, some people date one person, get engaged and get married. Some of you are still on chapter maybe she had the wrong. Maybe episode. she had the wrong spiritual encounter when she passed out or something when she was in coma. Maybe she had... A wrong spiritual encounter. So you, you're thinking two things, yes, both physically and spiritually. And, and spiritually. Okay, I get you because yeah. yes, life is spiritual, so definitely there'll be so such she, issues. So she she needs to get help from a psychologist and then from a spiritual person as well. So the husband too should start doing kabi. Yeah, he okay. should do kalabush. Uh, okay, wow. Let me move to um Simon, but please keep your messages coming through zero five four eight eight four one zero three nine. Your wife goes through a tragic situation of dealing with cancer. She survives miraculously. That's the word. Then she says she wants to sleep with other people be partying live her best life go to parties and she wants to be sleeping with other people as well that's what we're discussing right now um cause there no yes darling the guy said that like 15 times <laughs> 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 
actually this thing uh, initially when i read when i read the it make sense. the messages i was like actually we are sacred you 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 suffered something and now you are out of it and then you want to put yourself into something else i mean i mean what if you sleep around and you bring other diseases but then listening to your stories eh, mm-hmm. i felt like no we are sinners so no be a butcher you you try to understand people yeah and know where they are also coming from just as they said it be a mental health Charlie. she's she's battling something mentally mm-hmm. and see yes she needs help i mean physically and spiritually you should seek some professional um, advice and then yes and then they should also pray for her i mean because right now the guy also feel insecure about of course. the whole situation any uncle who she might do something that's Charlie. And say, yeah, fata. Inti, we dey yin akra, yin yin akra, yin mumpa yin manu. Yin vanu mumpa yin manu. Yeah, that one day, pay boy dey, nin na kah. Yeah, that will make you be better. Aside, aside everything that you can do in this world, you just want to sleep around it here. Or probably she doesn't love herself. To tell your husband that. Well, if you don't know the confidence you will get. But but it can be that after her um the cancer she doesn't like you said sometimes you find it hard to embrace yourself for who you she. are do you know what is god i hate myself on a different yeah, yeah. yeah. so probably she doesn't she she's not she's not happy about her existence yeah because there are times that you wish charlie even normal human being when you are down sometimes mm-hmm. you just wish you sleep and you don't wake up again so that other people who feel your need and then yeah. th- the need for your existence so mm. i feel i feel probably she's not happy and then she just wants to misuse her life okay after all what is left of me let yeah. me just let me just do anything if you, i go i go if you know something whenever you get to that point that you think that your existence is not needed mm-hmm. you have a problem it's true it's so not it's not normal you've gone mm-hmm. up the edge you have a problem mm mm-hmm. And it's psychological, mm-hmm. but in our part of the world, we take it as oh, it's normal mood swing. It's not mood swing. Okay. Sometimes there are days that you are down. You just don't feel like connecting. You don't feel like talking to somebody. Mm-hmm. You don't feel like. Look, I have this friend there. She's a female, and um, recently I saw her post that okay, why is it that sometimes I don't feel like talking to anybody? I don't feel like picking calls. I don't feel like doing this. I don't feel like, mm. and it's, it has been consistent. You see her today she will be fine the next day you call her she will not pick you, you know you try to reach out to her yeah. and all these things then i realized that she had broken heart and she thinks that she's she overcome it to her oh i'm 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 done with it no the residue of whatever is still manifesting mm. subconsciously mm-hmm. so sometimes you don't feel like connecting because you are tired of people disappointing disappointing yeah. you you are tired of opening up to people and it ends up you know going wrong and all these things it is psychological there is something we call images of conflict mm-hmm. that is what mad i don't want to use the word mad forgive me mentally that is what challenged mentally people. challenged people see mm-hmm. images flash through their minds at every point in time you know they see things differently they see a whole lot of things so they react to it and because you don't see you see it as insane but they see it as sane because yeah. they see what you don't see yeah. so to them it's normal mm-hmm. but to you is abnormal yeah. and because the larger society don't see what they see we term we call them mentally deranged yeah yes yeah. images of conflict different images different thoughts flashing through your mind so for all you know that is what the lady is facing you know so at this point this is the time that the man you see the the cancer bit it was purely medical mm-hmm. so you realize that the man there are people to deal with that but this one this is the time that the man needs to set up and man up is a challenge into your territory yeah. because yeah. men are very territorial mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. we are very defensive we don't want people to invade our space and our privacy so for your wife to tell you that i want to go and sleep around <sighs> Charlie, it will go you. Hey. But this is the time that he needs to be. 
bold and matured and understand the yeah. fact that Very the true. problem that he thought was over it's isn't not over yet. It's, it's now not starting. Over. There is a new challenge coming, and challenges come not because it, it 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 is to break us. It comes because we need to solve them, learn from them, and that will make us better, wiser, bolder. And more vigilant so at this point the man should understand the situation that is not normal yeah be it physical be it spiritual there is a problem so that the man wouldn't blame the woman and fight the woman for the decisions she is taking we and say, not even fight himself too yeah, because you feel less of a man yeah. it will end up escalating yeah. the whole thing it's a problem then after knowing that there is a problem what is the problem itself because diagnosing the problem would give you a fair idea of who to consult for help mm, yeah. so if what you know the do? problem then you know where to go so that oh kaka you don't go to <laughs> you, don't, you, don't, you don't go to here you go to the dentist <laughs> you know yeah, yeah. so that you know exactly where to go for help yeah very so he true. he shouldn't feel that the woman is trying to be stubborn and yeah. the woman is trying yeah. to sometimes you know all these things you know because we don't understand the situation exactly. we we tend to be hurt and yeah so yeah. um Sarah, i realize that let, let me i'm coming okay. to Costa Rebe. i realize that um from some of the messages and even what you said you were coming from the emotional side do you think that naturally as africans we always look at these things from the emotional side first like we think about emotions first before we think about probably the fact that a yeah i say probably it could be a sickness we don't overlook it but we look at ourselves yeah. do you get what the question yeah. i'm asking yes 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 because i'm seeing a lot of questions like leave her leave her mm. what do you think we we it looks like we attack the problem yes how it is we don't we don't excuse me to say think deep into it mm -hmm. uh, we don't think deep into it i mean we just yeah 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 do you think it, are we getting to the point where we are changing or still are changing <laughs> when you tell I think that is how it, <laughs> it is it, it I mean has it, been, has been, yeah. it has been because whenever yeah. I bring up therapy people go like now we did nah. be we are bro for yes, yes, we are not used yeah. to we are not we That's Ghanians, we Africans are not used to this therapy therapy things I mean we leave things at it, as, as it is mm -hmm. I mean we are refined so you want to sleep around go ahead go ahead and sleep around oh, but you know? but we used to have our own ways of doing some of these things because mm -hmm. you know um back in the day if something of that sort happened the man will inform the family the family would call the person they would have a discussion with her you know the elderly people would try to find out what the problem is and try to advise and all these are all forms of therapy mm -hmm. but because our soci social system has, has broken down mm -hmm. so now even telling somebody your problems you are afraid because tomorrow nah. yeah your matter is everywhere so. your matter good day and you go explain tire so people are keeping to themselves mm -hmm. and now look maybe one day we should discuss this have you have you taking note of the things people post on social media now people are pouring out their heart on social media putting you know, their cameras emotions, on their face yes. their emotions on social media because they don't have anybody to talk to so they put it out there and sometimes you might think that oh they are loud or oh, sometimes but it's for content they also playing around it is a cry for help mm -hmm. most of these things when i see them I, I I pity them and there is less I can do about it. But yeah. clearly, if you've been through that emotional fluctuations before, you realize that this is a cry for help. Mm -hmm. Ella, you wanted to I say something? I wanted to say something now. And the thing is, we are in an era where most people, Africans to be precise, have become very, very unreasonable mm -hmm. in a sense that we are educated. I, I have learned or I have read about depression and I'm going through it. I may be able to tell you that, look, I'm depressed. Mm -hmm. Looking at what I'm going through. People, ignorant people will sit back and say, how are you able to tell that you are depressed? Why do you, just like Funny Face is saying, he's suffering bipolar and depression and people are criticizing him for saying, you're suffering bipolar, meaning you know what is wrong with you and you cannot do anything about it. Why are you overreacting mm. or why are you misbehaving mm -hmm. I, I, didn't but want, then, I didn't want to go there but you but then 
like like I said, if you really know, you two have been through it, mm -hmm. and from from little feelings mm -hmm. that I have had back and forth. When you see people like that, you feel, you know it's that this is not an overreaction. No. But then most people are becoming ignorant and we are allowing the, sorry to say, the unreasonable ones affect some of us. Yeah. So like somebody is saying you are, defending, you are defensive of his attitude or what somebody is going through and another person is trying to Dumb explain, it's like trying to make you understand what is not it. So if I have read that me keeping to myself, me not being happy and me not being interested in the things that I used to be interested in and me shutting people out mm -hmm. is symptoms of depression. Mm -hmm. And then I tell you I am depressed and then you make fun of it. You're not depressed. Probably you're just overthinking or probably <laughs> that, <laughs> is, <laughs> that is what we go through most <laughs> often here. Yeah. Instead of you to see reasons with me and then give me an advice or try to talk to me for me to come to my realization you'll be like Chale, wa unim ya oka, unim ya depression ye. we get that most of the time from people yeah do you know why yeah it's because we don't see depression as a problem but it is a problem we see it as one of those things it's yeah. a very big problem you see let me tell you this there is a saying say and toa if you've not gotten there you might take it for a joke oh yeah but one thing we should understand is that challenges in life do not know colors mm -mm. or age. A race <laughs> or and even age. gender or age age and hmm. religion yeah. 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 That's true. it, will it come can happen you. to anyone anybody. Yeah. it's like deformity mm -hmm. some people were born strong straight but through I'm accident mm -hmm. through something through ailment they change yeah but they pick up the challenge mm -hmm. some people cannot go through it they take up their own lives because they cannot live with that for the rest of their lives. Mm -hmm. Some people are bold enough to go through it. But instead of the society accepting them for who they are and who they've become, we mock them. Mm -hmm. We ridicule them that and we sense. add more Grief. salt to their injury. Yeah. Let's mm -hmm. talk about fun face. I didn't want to talk about it. The last time I saw him, we we're having fun of ourselves and you know, it was it was very, you know, friendly. Look the first time I saw some of the videos, do you know what I told myself? Funny, is calling for help. Yeah. He's a victim of his own emotions. Yeah. He's a victim. Yeah, very true. Somebody suffered malaria. Do you blame the person no. for suffering malaria? No. Do you blame the person for suffering typhoid? It's their immune system. Or any other disease? No. So why do you blame people who have emotional fluctuations or disorders? It happens. Though. Based on the thing. I saw some videos that people were posting, you know, his past performances and all these things. Then you ask yourself, what went wrong? Is it spiritual? Is it physical? Is it psychological? Mm -hmm. People are now abusing it to drugs and all these things. Mm -hmm. At the bottom line is, there is a problem. We should just acknowledge that mm -hmm. our brother is in a problem, in a situation. Look, why na M person nan can ban a funny face? Mm -hmm. A flourishing mm -hmm. young yeah. entertainer with all these prospects. And now he goes through this and we see it as a joke because he's not our brother, because he's not somebody who is close to us. And we go on social media and we we, the we, we and you see, Put and you know when you do that. It aggravates yeah. the, the situation. situation because from where he sits, he doesn't see it as a problem. So he will try to defend himself. And the more you try, the more you commit, yeah. Yeah. you know, mistakes and all these things. The best we can do to help is to tone down on the attacks on him yeah. Yeah. and, and know comments. that whatever he's doing, he is going through a lot of psychological imbalances. Is a cry for help, yeah. for Christ's sake. Yeah. It's the funny. least we can do for him if we cannot help him is to shut up about him yeah very true and just give him the support that he needs yeah needs. just All if you can't if love. you can't look if you can't support him yes just mind your business J just he, let him be nobody for Christ's sake I, I would I say, before I, I read the messages I didn't want to go there because you know me I don't like specifying things but <sighs> trauma 
we should take these things seriously. When you lose a loved one, when you go through heartbreak, when you lose money that you've worked hard for, yeah. when you go through certain challenges in life, I won't say problems because challenge. I call them challenges because I want you to know that we can overcome yeah. them. Um, make sure that you speak to someone. It really helps. These three people sitting here, they're not just friends they are family for me they yeah. i talk to them i spend i record voices with simon on a daily basis ella and i have been close since kumi and i did the things that we're talking uh, about with you we helped each other the through last it. time ella was asking yeah. me questions about, so. <laughs> yeah you know i've we, learned a lot from kumi. Th- this yeah. through this tumor thing and his sickness we went through it like you know a big brother will help us a younger mm-hmm. sister out yeah. and he and i bounce a lot of things with each other if i go through something i come like yo where am i Charlie, I'm, you I'm promised for to you. call yesterday. You I fell asleep. Okay. <laughs> I fell asleep. I ate <laughs> and I slept. <laughs> so let me speak the truth and shame the devil. Man. But you get me. I bounce off things. I'm, I'm grateful to have people that I could talk to. Yeah. And I've been so kind to me. And then they've helped me through it. A big shout out going out to my psychologist, Reverend Francis Auburn. He's amazing when it comes wow. to that. Yeah. Yes. And, you know, you realize that you need the help. And you find the people that can help you. Please those things that when we were kids people used to maltreat us and stuff like that it's trauma please it's good to get over it because those things build up those bipolar disorder and stuff within yeah. you because you don't get over it properly unresolved and, and accumulated yeah. stress yeah. thank yeah. you so stress can cause you to have those situations please let's read more and find out about these things okay yeah. with this woman's issue what we are talking someone say oh we've diverted no psychological things are very mm. important and when you go through cancer brain tumor whether it's cancerous or it's benign you go through a whole lot of things i know a lady that somebody introduced me to she was going through the same thing i went through do you know what she wanted to do the number of times she tried suiciding you have no idea because she didn't think she was going to make it and for her the, the size of her head was getting bigger and it wasn't working i know a lady who unfortunately passed away at Kolebu. the medication they gave her Instead of it helping her reduce the tumor, it, it started causing sores on her leg. After yeah. that, the way they wanted the sores to heal, so they could do a surgery. When they healed, the devil is alive. The woman passed away. It pained me pass. Hey, the same pain me catch my stomach. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. Because she and I became close, and she was my bedmate. She was even next to me. And she passed away. And it, all these things flashes through. Yeah, it was scary. Yeah. So mine wasn't more of manico. Mine was more of fear. I was so afraid of everything. I didn't want to go out because if I go out and I black out, who helped me? Mm. Yeah, and I had my family whenever I step out. Even going to the bank, they'll follow me. And I realized that they used to follow me. They don't tell me, but they are following me. And it was painful for me because I felt like I'd gotten to the place where I can't even be by myself. Yeah. But today, yeah. look at me. Yeah. I run around like nobody's business. But like you said, you have to but be still. bold. You need to find the people. Yeah. You have to open up. Yeah. The moment you feel like... I don't feel like talking to anybody and it's happening one day, two days, three days, four days. You're locking yourself up. It's not, it's not right. You need help and we need to start opening up. If you can't talk to a therapist, it's fine. And then please let's dispel that thing that therapy is, is expensive. It's not, it is not expensive. There are people who are doing it free of charge. They're doing it pro bono and they're mm-hmm. helping. If you need help, please, our WhatsApp number is here, 0548. Yeah. Send messages. We'll give you, we'll direct you to people who can actually help you and help you get through this. You're not alone. I know there are people listening to me that know they are going through these things. People have problems. We have our DMs, Ajeli underscore Doku, um, Super Nana, um, um, Real underscore Kwame Labi, um, um, a DJ Fantastic. Just speak. If you don't want to talk to him, we can help you find the right counselors and stuff yeah. that can help you go through this. And there are people who are actually there to help. When you've had a, a relation, like a, a, a loved one who's gone through cancer, who's dealt with breast cancer, leukemia, um, brain tumors, and they've gone through, um, what's it called, um, certain serious ailments that yeah. almost would lead to death that they've made it. Charlie, when you're coming back, it's not an easy thing. So yeah. it's yeah, a little bit of patience. And when you... Yes, when you have a family member going through these things, let's read and research more yeah. so we can help. Yeah. You understand me? Don't say, na ena mabreo, ogbana. Again, again, no, there are things that happen. Sometimes we need both <laughs> prayer. Aha, uh-huh. we need both <laughs> prayer and we need a physical part of it. You understand me? Yeah. And when you have a friend that keeps locking themselves up and they don't show up, 
please, my dear, this is when you need to be a friend and stand 10 toes down and tell them I'm not going anywhere. I have you. I got you. Because you telling the person I got you is one step in healing. Yeah. Because yeah. when you show up for the person every time, you save them from trying to take their lives. Suicide is real. Depression is a yeah. real thing. So I beg you, let's not dumb it down and say, now, oh, do you know what? I know boys will tease you, but they've got your back. Yeah. Big shout out to all our friends who stick by our sides. Me, if I start mentioning a million and mm -hmm. one people. Yeah, big ups to Abibio. He's now in the US. Uh, yeah, know, they're, they're a whole lot. Big shouts going out to my geezer, baby. I love yeah, you, boo. Yeah. I love I saw, you, I saw boo. Him. I saw him last yeah, week. Yeah, he's around. Yeah, Because he around. That, that's my G. Big shouts to Nakwama Lab. To Arnold, there's a reason why I call him Sugar Daddy of Life. That guy makes everybody his responsibility. He takes care right. of you. I'm That's a you. friend. Aww. That's a friend. Big shout out to DJ Fantastic. And he looks like to my, my mom, Edna McBruce. Edna Anna Doreen Cushy McBruce, girl. I love you mm. to the <laughs> core. <laughs> to my brother, Ludwig. I love you guys too. You know, my entire mm. family. Yeah. See, when you have people, you have to be able to tell them. They can't read your mind. Yeah. As one of my pastors would say, if somebody can read your mind, it's sorcery. Mm. But if you tell them what's going on with you, they can help you. Yeah. Yeah, that's all you need to do. A big shout out to everybody who's been there for me. Big shout out to my big B, Barry. That's my best friend. I love you, man. So on this note, young man, call me here. We'll help y'all. <laughs> you just need to research more to help your wife. Yeah. It's not her. Read. It's not her at all. Mm -mm. Pray. Uh, yeah, and prayer. Yeah. God is Read the the ultimate healer. Yeah. The ultimate yeah, healer. And important. and for the people who sent leave her leave her she's already doing that I would i'm not say sure they know they don't know yes they don't know what is so really i think we should all read ignorance yeah we should all read about these things when we read more that's what the internet is there for yeah read more about certain things when a family member tell you that they have osteoporosis they have glaucoma and stuff read about it even the knowledge of you knowing that something is wrong with you can even affect you mentally charlie so you knowing that i'm sick oh when they hear me and then the fear just grips you like that. You you don't know what to do Why next. Why do you think the Bible says I don't give you the spirit of fear? You because just start pulling you yourself. Know, you know the, the fear of the unknown. Hey! You know there is a friend. There is a friend. They were going to US and they were supposed to do an ACE test. He stopped. <laughs> <laughs> what if? What if? What if? Yeah. What if? What if? Can I don't go go to the US again? Yeah. Yeah. What, what if? What if? What yeah. if can spoil your business? You knowing. You, it's, you, it's just like you. You be pregnant without your knowledge you are you're fine you are healthy the moment you get to know that if i am pregnant then the money is <laughs> <laughs> then you are saying your hiv resource is in then <laughs> you start counseling you like, oh you know charlie you go you go mad <laughs> Charlie, but big shout to you, God. Thank, thank you, Ella. Thank you, thank Costero. You. Thank you I to Kumi and thank you to myself for getting it. Like, you know, I don't talk about this thing. I've never I'm spoken saying. to you about it, but you know, I know I tell you that Ella, I'm not myself today and stuff like that.